Hey guys, hope all is well. So it's been quite a while since I last filmed. Basically in that um, week that Stacy was gone, I only managed to film twice. <clears throat> if you remember the light at the back door, the day after that I'd like started with the flu. Um, I think I had two or three nights off doing anything, then I I came back to the last video you will have seen. Um, I thought I was getting better, but after that one, I was completely wiped out again um, to the point where my voice, more or less, completely went. So, yeah, it wasn't a very productive week, but I'm wondering if... You know, maybe that light at the back door had something to do with that. Now, I've never never been affected like that before, you know, when I've gone to the back door or anything like that. But it, it does seem a bit strange how, you know, it happened so soon after it. Um, but then that just could be a complete coincidence. You know, I could have just been getting ill naturally and... It, yeah, just a big coincidence because, like I said, that has never happened before. Yeah, I've been, you know, I've felt like crap before and, you know, all that sort of stuff, but that that seemed different. I was down for a while with that, um, you know, and it made it worse that I was on my own because there's nothing, there's nothing worse than man flu when you're on your own. So I've not picked up a camera since the last time I filmed and... I'm going to say that night was probably one of the craziest I've ever had. It was, you know, like the phone call with, you know, the beeping's there again, um, which is, we know it's Morse code because someone translated the last one. It was just that static again um, and the, the beeping was clear. I think what I'm going to do next time it happens, I'm just not even going to talk because it's pointless me talking because it never speaks back, so to speak. I'm literally just going to record, you know, the the noises that are coming through it with the voice recorder I have strapped onto it, and hopefully that will enable people to, you know, like better translate it. Um, what did they say the first time? it was translated, continued observation necessary. And, you know, like when we've had Alexa speaking and stuff, it said that, so it clearly must mean something. And then we had the attic. Um, when I heard it, I just thought it was like, you know, it passed where attic will just move a little bit or whatever, it just moves jigs. Um, I didn't, in my wildest dreams, think it was, you know, solidly floating in the air. I'm going to go up in a bit anyway, though, but I'll tell you in a minute. But, yeah, that was the first time I've ever seen anything like that, especially, you know, connected to the attic. I thought that, um, you know, the cross up there would have, you know, kind of chilled it out a bit, but... It didn't, um, and I was stood underneath it as well because I didn't, obviously, I'm coming upstairs, I just hear it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have stood underneath it if I knew it had just been floating, what, like, say, six to ten inch in air. And then the, uh, you know, the light up, upstairs, that just started flickering. And that's never happened before. Yeah, we've had the light in the back room, you know, turning on I think it was um, but that was just super creepy that creeped me out more than anything if I'm going to be honest uh, I could be reading into it but when I noticed like when I proper paid attention to it and I said um, do you know make it flash again or whatever and it flashed twice pretty quickly and then it did a third one and then turned on, so I'm wondering if, you know, them three flashes was any significance to, you know, the, like, number three we always get. Uh, but again, that could have been, you know, a complete coincidence, and it just 
I don't know. Um, that was, yeah, that creeped me out a lot, but I was picked up when I came downstairs and you know, I had a quick go on um, Spirit Talker, I think it was. And so much of that conversation was so relevant. It was basically I heard a noise at the back door and, you know, it said it, it was born in me or something like that and it said that it was an angel. So, yeah, after the, the terror, there was, like, the joy and whenever I speak to anything that I believe is positive and I do believe that was positive, you know, it always picks you up. It's just a good feeling, you know, knowing that you're not on your own and that there is something around you. So tonight, it's not actually that late. It's only about seven or something. Um, Stacey's upstairs, kid's still up. But I'm going to take the connect up into, like, the landing and I'm going to go in the bedroom with it because we've been getting so much activity up there lately. I'm going to use the 3D version again. Um, I might switch when I go into the bedroom, I don't know. But you'll have, not, you'll have seen the 3D thing before um, on Ghost Adventures. It's exactly what they use. Um, that's brilliant, you know, in terms of orbs as well. I was actually playing around with it earlier on down here. And if you remember last time we had it near the fire, that it just looked crazy and there was orbs coming out everywhere. It was the same again, just big black orbs coming out everywhere. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't know what make of the connect. It's like, it is like a pure ghost hunting tool. <laughs> I know Microsoft, when they made it, they didn't think it was going to turn out that way, but, you know, it's just brilliant. So need a lot of focus with the Kinect. Um, and I, I don't know what I'm going to do after that, to be fair. I'm just going to um, go at floor. I'm not really in mood for much, but I want to take the Kinect up there. At least do that and you know, we'll see if anything happens. So thanks for watching, guys. Right, we're upstairs. Um, Stacey's holding the connect so we can just have a bit of movement. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a brilliant tool, but when it's just stuck in a tripod, it's not being used to its full potential. Um, as I said, this is the exact one that Ghost Adventures use. Um, I'll just put a quick a few images for comparison now so you can you know get a gist of it. This is like your classic 3D. Um, if anybody knows how to convert these connects, you know, so it's um, like the, the power wire, like take that off and put a plug thingy on it so it goes into like a, a 12 volt, volt power pack, let me know. Um, Right, I'm just going to do some quick EVPs. Whatever lifted this up the other night, can you tell me your name? Is it Vlad, the spirit that likes to be called Vlad up there? Are you a demon? Can you tell me where you come from? The stuff on it. It's 
from that house. Or... Tell me where you come from. You show yourself on this camera. I know the spirit that likes to be called Vlad hates this camera, hates it when I've got it out because I can see everything. And you're a coward. You only do things when I'm not looking. How about if I point it up there? Oh, will it reach up there? Yeah. I'm going to point it in. Is it seen anything? As in, like, just the room, though? You can see the room, but there's no... There's no figures. Show yourself. You coward. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. No. Has anything shown here? Just you, but it's lost tracking of you and then it's gone back to you. So, but there's nothing been with you at the same time. Oh, just. I, I was expecting, you know this area thought would be quite active because it has been recently this has been one of the most active areas at house but I'm just going to move it into the bedroom now right so I'm just going to put spirit talker on last time I used this we had some you know pretty amazing communication down there I'm just going to give it literally a five minute blast I'm not going sick Luna's not bad if you notice some up. Is the spirit I was speaking to the other day here? Is the one that claimed to be my angel here? If you are. Can you say hello? Can you show yourself on this camera? <coughs> the, and the connect, the, the one I'm using um, is the Xbox One Connect. It basically doesn't pick animals up. Yes, it's me. <coughs> so I've been asking if it's here, if it can show itself. Can you tell me whereabouts you are? We're in that corner. <coughs> to your left. Grave. It's gone. Uh, there'll be a little cut in that clip then um, Stacey's having a bit of a coughing fit can you reappear over here for me pay attention with this one as well you know this view like I spoke about downstairs the orbs are like unreal on this um, Top. downstairs is a different level when I tested it can you show yourself as them dark energy balls? I'm not super close to the screen. Can you show yourself as an energy ball? <clears throat> can you come? Can you can you shoot those orb things at me and touch my hand?
You're not being very talkative tonight, are you? It said three words. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> look back to the previous video, how active you know, that was. I'm going to go in a minute. This was only a quick test. But I'm going to, if there is anything positive here, I am going to be using this device a lot more where I can see you. And I'd love for you to start appearing on it more. Is that something you can do? Are you willing to do for me? Because I'm sick of all the My evil. Lungs collapsed. I'm sorry to hear that. Right, I'm turning this device off now. Thank you for your communication. Last chance. Can you show yourself on this one? On this screen here before I, I end this. It's definitely so an orb then. It weren't as big as um, I've seen before, but it was there. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Um, apart from that one figure, we've really had nothing. So I'm not beating a dead brush. That was the back door, obviously. I'm not going out. I'll have a quick peek through, but I'm not going out. Well, I think I'm going to camp out there again. Remember when um, I camped there? I can't remember how long ago now. It must have been a good six months. Because it seems that that area is like, um, you know, the epicentre of whatever. Um, you know, when I'm sleepwalking, I generally always, you know, make my way to the back door. Um, and more often than not, I seem to, you know, kind of rattle the door handle. And I've been out multiple times when the door's been open. Um, slept in caravan very recently. Again, um, that strange noise and I'm outside just standing there, you know, looking up. So I think maybe if I sleep in the tent, um, I'm like dodging a lot of steps there, aren't I? Um, because that's the area it, it takes me to, you know, on the piece of grass. Yeah, I'll camp out tomorrow. I hated it last time, but... Um, hear him whispering now, I'm talking. Yeah, it wasn't a pleasant experience, but... There's some crackers going on out there that I can't explain. Make sure I've got plenty of cameras. Yeah, I think I might even take a couple of these. You know, maybe put them inside the caravan. Um, looking out, just depends how, how much glare there is, I guess, from the IR thing. 
I was getting ready for bed anyway, so it's not really interrupted me. I was just... Well, I had been watching Lost Boys. I paused it, to be fair. Um, but I think I'm going to go to bed now and just continue watching it up there. So thanks for watching, guys. That was, that was way louder than a whisper than that. Can you make that noise again? I think it's starting raining as well. It's definitely spitting or something. I can hear it out window.